we then love story on both sides. We're gonna put our client into half lotus. Here. We're gonna take both hands, split the butterfly, palm press together above the knees. Making our way up to the hip. One, two, three, two, one. gently being held and I'm just gonna push for a stretch my other hand is gonna hold his straight leg kind of stabilize it because you see as I push his leg comes over so I'm gonna stabilize that and I'm just gonna push one two three two his hamstrings if he's kind of bendy I can get closer push his ankle is just kind of supporting it and guiding it. back of your calf and tucked by the knees you can just kind of hold now with my hands I'm going to do more compressions before it was just range of motion and pushing now I'm going to do compressions based upon pressure I can just do a flat foot but if you would like more pressure I'll turn my foot and just use the outer edge of it so supporting his other foot with my hand how's that pressure would you like some more yes that's really targeted. So, yeah, if they want it. And again, just moving up. Next, you're gonna take both legs. I don't like, but Sage likes. It's a little bit complicated. I'm going to show you anyway. You're going to take your toes, and you're going to get really close to your client, and your toes and the ball of your feet are going to press into their adductors and hamstrings. You're going to bend their leg so it sits on top of yours, and you're going to kind of butterfly your knees open. So butterflying open is going to hold his leg in place and keep my toes pressed up against his adductors and hamstrings. Reach around the outside line. You're gonna grab and pull and rock to the opposite side. So we're treating the inside line with our toes and the outside lines with our fingers. And it's important to keep your legs spread open like this it keeps your toes in place. If you bring your knees together, you kind of lose the locking part of it. You can finger 
walk. Okay, I don't think I can do that. Give it a try. Okay. It's not my favorite. <laughs> I don't often do it. I've tried it enough to be like, this would not be part of my routine. But other people like it. I just physically don't think I can do the... The this one? Yeah. Give it a try. And if you <laughs> okay. can't do it, totally fine. Okay. We can figure out modifications. We can just kind of do it, and I'll do like a little ocean wave style compression. So everything's the same. This isn't so complicated. It's this part. I feel like my toes start to slip, and like I end up toe hooking into muscles, and it feels very awkward for me. Mm. And what, since I feel awkward, that can get translated into my client. So. But here's my massage therapist and me coming out. I'm like, inside line, outside line, let me just do a little twerking and compress and see. How's that, Sage? That's great. Yeah, so give something like that a try if it's not for you. After that, let me just lead into it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. After that, bring the knee forward. I'm ready to do Japanese style sitting. You're gonna sit so their foot is between your knees, just like this. And I'm gonna press my knees together because it's gonna hold it in place. Otherwise, as I pull, my feet, my, my knees are gonna slide places I don't want them to slide. His foot could slide places we don't want it to slide. So right between your knees and you're gonna hold. It's called Japanese style sitting. So we're gonna hit inside and outside line one at the same time. I'm gonna take my hands crisscross, I'm gonna drop my elbows, and I'm just pulling. So I'm doing this movement. Just dropping elbows, nothing crazy. I can get three points in. Somebody's got long legs. Aaron's got long legs, I'll probably get four in. Somebody who's got shorter legs, maybe two. You're just gonna go with what their body style is. So, down. And up. After that, you're gonna do line two. You're gonna move their foot as close to their tailbone as possible. And you're gonna scoot up too. You're gonna come through, link your fingers together, and you're gonna drop your elbows and pull. Drop, pull. Down and back up. Move their foot away from their sits bone. Now we're going to take our hands and we're going to kind of ice pick them. We're not, we're kind of like hinging on our shoulders to press in. It's not coming from our wrists, it's really coming from body movement. So it's again, it's like a two part move when we're twisting the foot, when we're doing everything else, it's kind of one fluid movement. Now we're getting inside and outside line three. So we did one two, and now we're getting back to three. Find your fingers. Down and back up. Slide the foot out a little bit more. Midline hamstring, so right in the middle of their hamstring. Your thumbs are going to stack and press in together. And I'm just pushing in. Hinging from the hips. I move down to the calves now. Fingers pushing together, right in the midline of the calf. This time, I'm gonna pull back. I'm not finger hooking, I'm just pressing in. 
and I'm stopping right above the Achilles. So right where the meat turns to tendon, I'm stopping about two thirds of the way down the leg. It's gonna be a little bit different for everybody. I'm gonna make my way back up. And then that cool nutcracker move where we pushed, we lean back on the hamstrings, we pulled on the quads. We're gonna do the same thing in a pushing manner on the calf. So we're gonna link our hands together, drop our elbows and lean forward at the same time, kind of peeling the meat off the bones. Massage therapist in me wants to give it a little jostle. If it feels right, do it. Remember I said Ty is very intuitive. I can intuitively tell he's tight here. I want to jostle. I really want to like. Feels right. Go for it. There's no right or wrong. Push calf. I feel like that's a good stopping point for right now.